fellas so let her cry let her go and honestly i know this sounds bad but let her out with the trash if that's how she's acting you got to right i mean the dumpster is there there's a dumpster available make that shit available take take the shit out you don't need it in your life you don't want that type of burden you don't want to have that type of worry on your shoulders folks okay so i'm just saying today i'm gonna tell you what is these fake emotions that women will cry about what is just her actually really crying and her wanting and what really what what she's trying to get things to be it might get a little complex who knows but keep watching till the end please like this video check out all, all the links and especially my website okay let's get into it so first off her crying and this is literal like this is at her actually crying but we can refer this to nagging or you know complaining um being upset sad all types of emotions so her crying actually is just her telling you i need you to make things easier so it's really her saying this is too much for my emotions now this is kind of obvious but here's the thing that fellas do not understand Women, honestly, they're very privileged and they don't understand that. They have it really easy getting men. And then the men that they do have when they do get bored, yeah, gotta go. So unfortunately, when things don't go right for them, right, maybe the grass is not greener on the other side. Maybe, you know what, she actually did try these other guys and, you know, she just got her heart really, really, really broken by that guy. However, it's just not working out for her, so she moves on. Or, like I said in the beginning, maybe she lost complete interest. He's not exciting. Maybe he shows too much emotions. Or maybe it could just be a guy that doesn't do much, isn't an adventurous type of thing. So, that all just being said, she is not going to want to deal with a lot of these guys, right? So, she cuts them off when she doesn't want to. Now, the problem is when her emotions get involved when her feelings get involved, when, dang, that D is too good and he got money, that's how it goes. So all that just being said, if you're not important in a woman's life right now, that's not a problem. That could happen. But here's the thing. When you get to the point of her emotionally involved with you and wanting you and the tears come out and it's either the tears are real or the tears to get what she wants, doesn't really matter because now it's all just for you to make it easier for her so because they're so privileged to have selections have guys actually want them but they don't oh no 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 you're too you're too this mm, i'm out of your league you mm, maybe you in two three months stack up your bread a little bit more so back just giving you guys more examples so you can really get the feel of options 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 they got it all on deck even when they don't want these guys, they got it on deck, right? This is back to you guys validating. This is you guys liking pictures, liking stories, sliding in DMs, left them right and leaving comments. Dang, y'all don't get tired. I'm, I'm really, I want to know because my fingers will be getting tired. You know, my thumb will be getting tired. Um, so backtrack though, she's gonna leave. She's gonna go deal with the next guy, right? But now when that guy and she could be in love or maybe they just been having this on and off type of thing. Tag them, it doesn't matter. But however, they just got something where her feelings now got involved. Now, y'all got to know how to get her feelings involved. I kind of already talked about it in like my last recent videos. I'll just tell you guys this. Give her less. A whole lot less. Okay? So now that you got her feelings involved, boom. She has no choice but to want you to do things the way she wants it done that privilege kicks in where well you know how many guys aren't gonna do it if you're not gonna do it and then there's also <clears throat> if it's not gonna be you it's gonna be somebody else <laughs> and then let me give you one more and then there's also i can't i can't do this you need to and i it's not my fault <laughs> I'm okay. Just leave me alone. <laughs> okay, I'm being dramatic. But you see my vibe? This is how it gets because women are emotional by nature. So when her feelings get involved, then she actually has to cry. Or she's crying inside and is showing by her being upset or sad or angry or whatever. It's giving you the emotion. She's showing it. So she's sending that message of stop it now. I don't want to deal with this because I don't have to deal with this. 
So when you let her cry, it's you letting her know that you're going to keep crying, baby girl. Because either you're going to toughen up your skin so she wants to, and this is the part where women want to either be so controlling, so at the lead, like that type of stuff. So this part is if she wants to be tough, she has to toughen up and handle what she, what she brought to the table. That's the part where, you know, you got to let her keep crying. For real, for real. And she has to go figure out what what she really wants, what inside, what that void inside she needs to fill and how she could really fill it, right? So backtrack, if she's crying, she's not going to only just cry in that way, but she's going to keep crying. I always get something on my list, y'all. I'm sorry. It be happening. Um, I don't even know. It be coming from the air. Like, my, I don't even got makeup on. <laughs> But literally, okay, so anyways, backtrack with her. If she's crying, she's crying for, like I said, for you to stop. But you guys got to understand that women, that's why they're so quick to leave. Women are so quick to either put you down or call you out or try to crush your ego because theirs is so huge and it's just almost like, you don't have the option. In a woman's eyes, you don't have the option to let me cry. You don't have the option to not spend money. You don't have the option to tell me what to do, what, and I could keep going. But it's it's different, obviously, somewhat for some women and whatever. But overall, because women are all back to their nature, have a lot of things in common, it affects their emotions. So she is going to cry either in front of you or behind closed doors. Or, you know, more more common with her girls. <laughs> you know, girls night type of stuff. So, let me just backtrack to have you understand that letting her cry doesn't need to be such a cruel thing. It does, And I know it sounds a little bit rough, but the thing is, you guys are actually now stuck in crying instead. Because y'all emotions have to be put out. A woman is not literally giving any time of the day, not doing much. And then y'all will do what you got to do to have this woman or whatever. You think she deserves this stuff. And now you do it. Boom, boom, boom. And look at where you're at. So it's just kind of like, fellas, change the narrative. Change the situation. Change it for yourself because you are now suffering instead of her when she's the one that's putting you through the suffering. Y'all don't even, and this is how it really gets. Y'all don't even be bothering women nowadays. And I'm saying this from the from you to understand that, yes, you guys are emotional by nature, but y'all don't, and y'all might know this obviously, but you don't ask for too much. So how are you suffering with your emotions all the time when, you know, you're, you're supposed to just be doing, you know, your thing? Work harder, work harder. Whether it's the gym, we're obviously money, top thing. But still, that's what you're doing. That's your life. Pretty simple. Everybody has hobbies. You know, guys do different types of stuff out here. But reality is, is that you're not really bothering her. Your emotions are not affected. And so you have her affect your emotions. But then again, depending on what type of guy you are, you might have helped her. You might have helped her more than other guys, right? Let her in more into your life. Gave her more than you should have. Those type of things now affect you personally, obviously. But you see, it's your emotions and you're going through it. You're thinking that, you know what? It was worth it. It's still worth it. I should still keep her. Let her go. Let her cry. Let the whole go. Seriously, she's going to come back around and she's still not going to act right. And that's really just kind of almost the moral of the story. It's not her crying for changes. It's not her crying for you. Maybe that one will really get you guys to get it. Like when I say she needs you to make things easier, as in she's suffering and she can't take this because she never goes through this stuff. And then her feelings, because she's so involved in you, she can't handle it. So reality is, is women can't handle what men go through. And men go through this all the time. And this is why I'm so heavy on mental health because we got to be looking out for each other. Especially when fellas don't get that support as much as women, in my opinion. So reality is, uh, I got to do some research on that. But it's kind of just out there when, you know, y'all just get, get used so, so much and manipulated and spend so, 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 so much. So let me just backtrack. We're getting close to the end of the video. I just have to start say this one last time. She's only needing you to make things easier. So get out of the thinking of she's crying because she's happy that there's going to be better days eventually. She's crying because there's some hope. You got to lose the faith. I'm the one to tell you. I'm sorry, but you got to lose the faith because you're only going to keep sinking. 
Like I said, you're suffering instead of her. So you're going downhill. And she's not reaching you, reaching out for you, asking you, are you okay? Are you really going to be okay? I need you to be okay type of thing. No, it's not. Okay, well, you could be crying or open and you get that support. No. So it's just like, it's in her nature. It came out finally, but it really just came out because she's involved with you. She's connected. Spirit, she may be connected to you. You, you, you never know. Y'all might got some soul ties probably going on. Y'all been intimate? Yeah. So I'm getting a little hot. But fellas, you got to let her cry. It's not real. It's not real at all. You got to think about your own health and why you keep still sitting here every single time listening to the crap or the lies or the made up stories or the potential of what she's telling you it could be. It's literally just feeding your head. So you got to stop feeding her ego or feeding whatever it is that she gets from you or is still around to get from you. You got to stop doing that and watch how much she's going to have to start changing, changing into acting right. So now that her feelings are involved and she doesn't want to do all these things that, you know, she's required to. And, you know, wifey and husband, those are all titles, they're roles type of things, but you're supposed to still act on it, right? So just for her sake, when she doesn't want to do all those things, <laughs> she has to start doing it because if she wants you a part of her life, there's no other way. If she hates the whole idea of being a wife, you want a wife. So... This is not going to work. You, maybe later on she can catch up to you. So now you see how she has to start changing. She has to make decisions. Ultimatums, ultimatums. She has to know, does she want you for real? Is she going to act right? And the reality is, is never the right. Never act right. Never, I'm going to actually change this. You still got to change this. And y'all will still keep suffering because she'll tell you, yeah, well, you need to do this or you weren't doing this or that guy was doing this, my ex. And then boom, suffering, suffering, sinking, sinking, going down, going down. Y'all are going downhill for these hoes. No, don't do that. Okay, so let me just wrap up to say that the aftermath, right? And this maybe I could do a part two for it. But anyways, I'll give you a quick last, like last three, four minutes type of thing. So the aftermath, after she cries and gets out her emotions, and now she has to realize that she has to act right, the rules that you set, you're going to actually have her do it. Now, it's not going to maybe last long because she's just faking it, most likely, if she's out here just crying desperately or showing emotions just to get you back. So she might change just for a quick second or just for a quick while, cool, but it's still capped. Backtrack to her once again, though. She might be like, okay, well, I could do this for this time period and then come back. I can cry or I can show her that I care. Then I can dip and then come back. And then I can do that with the other guy that I have to. And the other thing y'all got to remember is why is she doing this? I'm not going to really go on with this question, but ask yourself this. Why is she doing this? Why is she crying? Why are you really crying? Ask her, why are you really crying? So backtrack, when she comes back and she has to act right, it's like a nightmare for her. She doesn't want to do it. So just the, the sad truth of it is because she has to do it, she's going to. But it's only certain specific men that could ever get women to that type of level. And so a lot of times when you guys can't start with just leaving her behind when she's giving you fake love and fake emotions and all that type of stuff and it's all cap and it's never going to go nowhere. When you guys don't just leave her there, then and there behind, then there's this whole gap that you guys have to fill, fill to even have her wanting you for real acting right is a long way. Right. And there's no getting her to act right after she showed emotions and whatnot if she really didn't actually show it. So don't take this. Oh, well, she did this little bit of this and boom, you know, like she 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 she's obsessed with me. She loves me. And boom, that's the one step. Now I have to maybe give her no contact, give her space. And now that space is going to make her more attracted to me or want more time. No, you got to make sure everything happens. So basically it's steps for women. Once their feelings, though, that's really the main thing. If they can keep their feelings closed and the walls up and they're guarded, there's no breaking her, right? So it's kind of just like even when she does want to move on or she's messing with other guys, she's still emotional. So it's just kind of like, you know, you're going to still hurt her somehow or get to her, but it's just how she puts it out. 
How is she going to represent it? How is she going to wear her feelings? You get me? So reality is, is that women are emotional by nature. It's going to come out for basically the right man. And then completely it, she's going to end up changing or acting right for the right man. And like I said, there's no time period on that. It could be just for the quick hour where she wanted you to just text her back. So she's maybe crying over text, telling you, I miss you. I want to see you. And then boom, just for one hour, you're thinking she wants you. And then boom, the next day she asks you for money. She just cried. She just did all this just to get some money. You fell for it. Sent the money to her. Boom. That's the story right there. It happens all the time. You don't want to be that guy. You don't have to be that guy. Once again, the choices you make, it's your choices, your decisions. You have to make those. Okay, so don't be afraid to basically say no. Don't be afraid to move on. Let go. Let her cry. Let her go through what you've been going through most likely, but what she actually has to go through. Like, she has to. Okay, so stop trying to protect her, hurt her, all this protecting that she's been doing got her to this point. <laughs> okay, so like this video. Y'all know, comment for the part twos. Y'all know what else. Oh, yeah, check out all the links down below. But, y'all, my shirt, I told you, it dropped. The high-value shirt, get yours. Okay, and bye, y'all.